One of DBD's most popular meme builds just became extremely strong. I was testing out some perk combos that synergize well with the anniversary event powers and found a build that completely changes the way the game is played. And without further ado, I give you guys the backpack build. Agitation, Iron Grasp, and Mad Grip. You might be wondering, why is this build so strong? And it's because during the event, you can remote hook a survivor whenever you want, meaning you can use the survivor on your shoulder with Agitation to gain an 18% speed increase to go around hitting other survivors. And then, as soon as they're about to wiggle off, you just teleport them to a hook, and you can go get another down right after. And to make this even better, Iron Grasp keeps them on your shoulder for longer and decreases the effectiveness of the survivor actually wiggling. And every time I get a hit with Mad Grit, the wiggle timer is paused for 4 seconds, buying me more time to get even more hits. I did this build with a few different killers, but if you'd like to see a specific specific character for my next killer video, comment down below what you'd like to see, and I'll consider some of your guys' ideas. I had a lot of fun recording this one, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's go. We are on the cold shower. We're locked in with the juicy build here. Come around like this. Beautiful. Let's just play like we always would. All right, let's do nothing special. Play it quite default. Beautiful down there. Oh my god, this is perfect. All right, we can already get this started. Rat poison is so good for what we're trying to do here. But now... Oh no. I'm gonna find this guy. Beautiful. Now we have 20, what, 20 something percent speed because of the rapid brutality, and he's just dead. And now we're gonna remote hook and pick up this guy. Oh, there's the next guy. Let's do it to him now. He's using Dramaturgy to get away. Imagine he got exposed. Oh my god, could you imagine? Okay, wait. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. Another down. And any second now we're gonna be able to have a remote hook. Come on. Nice. And now the next guy. Oh my god, and we have the extra 30% speed as well. I need to judge when I need to remote hook. Oh my god, the Jane doesn't know. No, I need to remote hook now. Okay, let's continue chasing her. This is working way too well. I'm loving it. We'll save our token. We'll hook this one. Save our token. Oh my god, he scared me. Nice. Wait, was that champion of light speed? It definitely was. We can hear someone over there, and someone's here too. Get that down quick. Yes, yes, yes. It's perfect. I got a hook. Oh my god, no, I pressed it. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We get him down like one second anyway. It's okay. Nice. And then let's do this again. Yes, Alan's right here. Wait, he's running a flash ring. Perfect. Yes, get back here, Alan. Get back here. Get back here, good sir. Oh my god. This cheeky man. He figured out the counterplay. Oh, the dead heart as well. You know what? Well played, dude. Really well played. That was nice. But now he's just dead. I don't know what he does here. Yeah. So without Iron Grasp, it's around 10 groans. And Iron Grasp is like, what, 11%? So it should be about 10 groans when I need to press Q. Just after 10 groans, probably. That's about seven, eight. Oh my god. Nice. It's working. We can hook that. Oh, here we go. It's perfect. As much as this might seem like a meme, it is like actually working, which is like crazy to me. Maybe there's a better map for this too. I almost feel like an indoor map could work. But we'd need to use Awakened Awareness, maybe instead of the Iron Grasp. Or we could even keep Iron Grasp and take off Rapid Brutality for it. I don't see the last survivor here. Okay. What's good is with Chucky, we can just immediately power. And then we can always get the down again after they wiggle off our shoulder. If we try this again on an indoor map, we'll try Larry's. And we'll do Awakened Awareness so we can see them through a wall. Oh my god, I see them. It was cool too. They're probably farming so many points they don't even mind. That, that's what I think is funny about this. I don't know where they are. Wait, are they in a locker? They're in a locker. I know you're in a locker. I knew it. I just knew she was in the locker. Oh my god. And then the rapid brutality to help me catch up. Nice. Nice catch up. And our power is already half up. Because I don't know if you guys know, but when you start using your power, that's when it starts recovering. So that's why you always got to go for those kind of hits. 
where you like vault a window or something because what will happen is that whole time you're wasting vaulting the window and doing all that you're just recharging your power we won with no gen perks with three gens left with what you would think is a meme build now let's take it to the next level do this on an indoor map and try it all over again game number two here we're on larry's and i have the illusory footsteps add-on i'm sure she would enjoy a nice chase this is the plan Oh, she is terrified. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know what to do. She's panicking. I'm just kidding. She wasn't panicking. Oh, there they all are. Okay, nice. We'll do that. That's actually a basement hook. Oh my god, I didn't even mean to do that. Good pathing from Nia. Beautiful. I love it when they run in my face. That's my favorite. Hello, friends. This is us. Hello. Nice down. I feel like I'm getting no value from that one add-on, but it's okay. We just put that on to see if it was okay. I don't think it is okay. It's definitely not okay. Oh, hey. Thank you. Oh my god, here we go, here we go. Come on. Yes. That's two hits. That's actually crazy. And then she doesn't even realize, but I'm right here. Oh my god. Nah, that's crazy. We're actually winning the game because of this right now. Oh my god, and the last guy's here. Look how fast I am. Oh my god. This is actually crazy. Chase him down. Chase him down. Oh my god, what am I doing? I didn't know I had three people down. Wait, let's just pick this up. Oh my god, wait, if I actually got that down, that would have been game over. I wouldn't have actually wanted that. I probably would have had to let one go. So I'm kind of glad that that didn't end up happening. Hello. Hello there. Put you on a hook. And we will go and pick you up instead. Okay, I'm gonna use power on you just because I enjoy using my power. Oh my god. Hello, game. <laughs> oh my god. No, I don't want you. I don't want to tunnel you out. What? Did she just quiet mode me? She did. My game. Double back. She fell for my mind game. Let's go. And now we switch pickups. Double back to double back. No. No! Kiss me! Where do you think you're going, huh? Where do you think you're going, hmm? No! You get back here right now, where are you? Talitha? I never said you could go anywhere, did I? I have to hook now. Beautiful. Oh, that was nice. Let's go. We're interrupting a nice old heal here. Should we go for the down? Let's go for the down. Let's go. We're mind gaming with someone on our shoulder right now. Oh, no. She got off. That's not good. I'm coming back for more. Oh my god, what a beautiful down. Okay, let's go straight back to the hook. Remember, they're all dead on hook now, so if I hook this girl, she's just dead. So they should take hits, you know? Get back here. Get back here. All right, I'll hook you. And hit you. And... Take you. It's like you're about to fall for the same thing your other friend fell for, right? I'm about to hook you remotely. And then you're gonna die. Wait, fold the window, fold the window, fold the window. No. Vault that window. Go on. Do it. Do it. Fake it. No, she won the mind game. No. Oh my god, what a beautiful head. We see her. And you're next onto my shoulder. And let's continue it. Where is the last guy? No. Yes. We gotta go back fast. The gem was almost done. No, you better not pop it. I know where you are. I can see you. She doesn't know I can see her. 
Yes! And just like that, we won the game basically with a survivor on our shoulder the entire time. I don't even think that would be like possible, but because of this event, it is possible. Let's try it with another character now. We know it works with Chucky. Well, actually it is Tiffany. Oh my god, and they actually called me a hacker as well. Also, guys, do not ever use this add-on, okay? It was absolutely terrible. I don't think it worked once. Game three here. I've switched characters. We're on the Wraith now, and we've actually put Starstruck on because it makes a bit more sense with a 115% speed killer. So Chucky's really good for getting the down again so we can get right back into that mode we were doing before, but killer like Wraith is going to be good at actually getting M1 hits like so. I should have grabbed this. I didn't see it right there. We'll do that now. We should go to the other side of the map. Oh my god, I am fast. The speed increase is insane. Oh my god, that lunge is mental. Let's actually go for some more people. Spread the pressure. Where's the killer unhooked? What the? Oh. It is Hanato. That's a nice hit there. Oh my, I could barely control my character. Never mind. That is not a nice hit. Beautiful. Wraith's actually really good on this event. I didn't even realize. Oh god, vaulting is awful. And then let's go for the play we want to go for here. So we'll pick up Sasha. Oh, that's perfect. Someone's right here. Nice, we're trying to get this girl. Nice. Oh, we might be able to get her here. We might actually be able to get her here. No. Oh, I almost killed the other person as well. It was so close, but it doesn't matter. The idea is that we can hook while standing right next to someone. And then we can get a nice easy down on them because they'll be one shot from the Starstruck. So that was more the idea. It would have been cool, though, to actually get the original idea to work. There we go. That's a hit. Oh, my God. That was a nice background player save. Jesus. Oh, hold up. I can hear someone crying. That's exactly what I need right now. Okay, here we go. We'll do this. And then we'll cloak up here. Try and get this down. That's a down. Nice. And that's exactly what we wanted. And I'm pretty sure these guys are good too. I saw a lot of like P100s in the lobby. It looked like a four-man swift, so I gotta be very careful. They might just start popping gens like crazy now. One of them's gonna be safe. One of them's definitely still getting a gen right now though. We will body block that window so that she can't take that. Get the hit. Nice. And let's continue chasing this girl. She's just gonna unhook probably. Someone else did. That's fine. We have really good pressure right now. She's gonna vault in, sir. No. She vaulted a little bit late. That's all right. This is what we'll do, we'll pick up. They should be able to get the save on Hanato. Oh my God, they really will be able to get the save on Hanato. Never mind. Now they actually won't. We'll pick this up, that's reassurance, by the way. He's been up that last part of the hook for quite a while now. He is just dead. Oh my God. There's a strat you can do, actually. Which, I mean, if she's gonna do this, I'll just wait. She's got off the record. Right back on the hook you go. Just kidding, guys. She has decisive strike. Here she goes for another three second chase. That's okay. <laughs> Hello there. Throw that pallet down. Come on. Okay, well, that was a mistake. Now you're dead. Beautiful. I'm actually interested to see these guys build at the end of the game because I'm pretty sure this is a four man. Oh, wait, she's staying there? No, she's not there anymore. Okay, we'll hook. We'll go for the chase. Let's go for this. Wait, that's not Starstruck. I forgot I was on cooldown. 
Hello there. And... Dead odd. Let's go back. For you. Oh, we're also taking heads. Okay. No, that's okay. That's okay. We can take hits. That's fine. Is this another DS? Is this the third DS I'm gonna eat this game? Please be the third DS. Oh my god, that's so funny. DS is bugged right now. She didn't really get any distance anyways. Oh my god. We didn't get any immediate success with the build, but you know, we're not doing a pretty bad job now. I'll take it. Dude, these builds, I'm excited to see the end game, honestly. Around the corner. They never expect the around the corner swing. And we did actually see the other survivor here, so we will go for that. Cut her off, and it'll be dead hard probably, right? It always is. It's not. Okay, nice. GG's. We managed to 4k this one with three gens remaining. It was three DSs and I ate all three of them. All right, here we go. We're in as Oni now. And I've got the add-on that makes more blood spawn. But I also have another add-on that makes it so I get wall hacks when a survivor goes in like a blood orb. The idea is we can get our power back by hitting them after chasing someone. And we're going to have perma walls so we can just go straight to them. Because we'll know exactly where they are. A nice hit off spawn as well, using the anniversary event. I'm gonna go for this guy. Oh wait, they went to the left. Blocker with head on, maybe? That's not even head on! This is perfect. That's so good. And then we hook. Power. Kill this girl. Our plan is working. Oh, wait, we can actually see the Nancy right here. And then Infectious Fright, we can see this other person. Nice. We know this other person is going to come running in for the pickups. Yep, there they are. We chase them away like this. Oh, wait, we don't even have to waste our anniversary. You know what we can do with the anniversary instead? No, I tried swinging away from the... We can do this. Oh my god. And now we get the hit. Wait, no, I don't want to win on five gens, though. We'll go get some totems. All these guys figure out the situation they're in right now. See, this was the bait. We actually baited them all into what? Did you just take my totem? Your whole team is about to die, and you have taken my totem? Inst nah, that's crazy, dude. Look at the points it gives me. 3,500 she just robbed off me. You guys see that? Can you believe that? That's not okay. See if we can find someone here. Oh, there they are. Is Sable in this locker again? Okay. She was in that locker and that would have been so funny. They activated speed. Look at this. I go so fast. Okay, this is so broken. Oh my god. Just so you guys know, it'll be pretty difficult to hit the survivors too though, because they'll also be increased by the amount of speed that I'm increased by. So it might look like we're OP right now, but when we actually get close to a survivor, we're going to be struggling out there. We're going to be painfully struggling to get that hit. Okay, let's see. Can we get it? 180. That's a hook. See, we struggled really hard to get that hit. I'm not going to tunnel, but I will pick up to use you as a backpack. Because listen, you're standing still, right? Which means you're not going to wiggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is perfect. Oh my god. Let's do it. Chase him down. <laughs> Let's go. And now we hook. Pick you up. We go get all that blood from when Nancy was. I feel like that might be a good idea. Yo, wait, chill, chill. Okay, Vittorio's right here. There should be lots of blood with him. So that we can get our power. Again. I'm actually just gonna hook. Because this Sable's hiding. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna show you guys how you 180 is Oni. Bang. 180 I'm chasing him down. I'm gonna catch it. GG's. That was a fun game. Let's try the only thing one more time, though. This time, I've put on the strongest perk in the game, Spies from the Shadows. In fact, it's so strong, I'm actually gonna go piss for 30 seconds to give these survivors a head start. I'll be back in a minute. Alright. I am back. Let's go. Nice. Look at that value. We'll grab this thing quickly. 
Oh no, she's running away. No. Okay, and that is a hit. Beautiful. Okay, now let's quickly win the game. That's one. Second one incoming. We can see the crow over there. That's Meg down. We don't stop there. We go back. I don't see them. Okay, we'll pick up. They got a gen done. Okay. I think we just go for the hit on Nancy again. Last time we went for the hit on Nancy, it worked out in our favor. Yeah, nice. And then get the blood. And then down her quickly. And then head back over there. Okay, let's do it. Hello, guys. M1 normally. And then go back to main. And let's make this happen. If you're wondering what add-ons I've got, by the way, I've got extra 10 second duration. I lose four seconds less of my power when I actually get a hit in my power. So like right there, you see how like barely lost any of my power there? That is because of the second add-on I have. She's gonna vault this. Oh no, she's not, okay. That's a free down. Oh, that's perfect actually. This is exactly what we wanted. Nice, now we have power. That's even better than us just getting the down normally because we're gonna snowball off of this down. Okay, go here, get the healed person downed. Yep, they're right here. Ready? Like this. Bang. We have three people downed right now. I'm gonna do this. Nice. Nice. Okay, we'll hook. We'll down her, but I'm not actually gonna pick her up here. I just feel bad killing her so early on. Can we get some value? Dude, this is rough, man. They're never nice to each other. I have to hook. Now, I'm being a little bit sweaty here. I get to perk spies from the shadows in my build. We gotta go easy on these survivors here. Look at that. I was looking for them, and what happened? The perk found the survivor for me for free. For one perk slot, I guess. Not for free. Also, let's kill this Nancy right now. Oh, wait. Hello. There we go. Oh my... God, was that beautiful. You got this, Aaron. Four downs right here. Come on. Do it. Do it to them. Can we get two more? Oh my God. That's three. Please tell me that wasn't someone on the floor. Please be a survivor. Oh my God. That's four. That might be enough Oni, dude. I don't know if we can do another Oni game after that. Four for four in one power is crazy. What a game. I may have cooked a little bit of a build here for the final game. It has absolutely nothing to do with what we were originally doing, but I have cooked. Okay, watch this. We're going to be getting Devour Hope stacks like it's absolutely nobody's business. We're going to be hooking people from across the map. We're going to be getting on the next guy immediately. And we're going to rinse and repeat. We're going to have five devour stacks within like sub 30 seconds. As long as I don't get juked like that. That was actually a really well played by this guy. He's going to throw it. And then we're going to come around and get the hit. Bang. I know what to do here. We just do this. And there we go. And then follow him here. And that's a down. Nice hit. Does he have main window? He does actually have a good main window here. He probably doesn't expect this play from me. He double vaulted in. We'll go like this. You see where he's going. Catch up to him there. I think I actually just didn't get a devour stack because I was too close. But that's okay. If anything, they won't realize we have devour. So it might even be better. That way, after the fourth unhook, we get it instead of the third. You know, everything in life happens for a reason, right guys? Okay, we should wait to use power here. This person has mega distance on us. Dude, the power of holding W. All right, you guys ready? Go like that. Do a little fake. Come around the corner. Just like that. And dead. Beautiful. You will be my third. They did find my thrill and my undying. And those are out the way now. Beautiful. And he's just dead. There's, there's nothing you can do now. Because I go like this. And now you're dead. And that's even before Devour. They do not know I have Devour and I will have four stacks. That is going to be so good. Jesus, we're still at five gens as well with no gen regression. That is how fast you can hook survivors in this event. David, let go on hook. Well, you know what I'm going to do? Do a bit of that. Three, two, one. Dead. You know what? If we don't 4k with Devour Hope at five stacks, then I'll actually do another one. It looks like we're going to have to do another game here. This game ended a little bit quick here. Okay. Hatch is closed. Oh my god. He must have like an end game surviving build or something. That was incredible. And we didn't even get the third Devour stack to get the down on him either. That is crazy. And this David, he thought he was going to gen rush. What the? Interesting map. Okay. Just do a bit of this. Nice juicy hit. 
Beautiful. We can pick up the event here as well in a second. Hold up, guys. I'm just going to pick up the event real quick. There we, <laughs> there we go. It only took us 10 business days. What just happened? Did I just get absolutely destroyed by a chest that exploded upstairs? Is that what just happened? It was this chest right here. I can see it. That exploded and stunned me mid-power. That is so unlucky. Here's ready. No. Beautiful. Ah, uh, she's holding it. Okay, we just wait. She's in vault. Thank you. I knew she was going to vault in panic. We need to protect our totems now because the only ones remaining is Thrill and Devour. And one of them could actually just be the Devour. So in this situation, if they're cleansing something... I gotta be scared. Even though we have like two downs right now, the whole team's injured, all running around, they could still just go and cleanse a totem. We just gotta hope they don't wanna do that. I think like I'm running this way. Beautiful. And then we'll go for a second power hit in a second. I'm trying to see if I can be greedy. Oh, and you died. That's a hit. Okay, we get that devour speed. That was my devour. I'm gonna have to try this all over again it's fine though because it means you guys get more content right hells yeah and you guys get an extra game it's okay you guys get to watch this amazing mind game i just did this right what the what am i watching all right i don't this is definitely a decisive strike there it is decisive let's see how long the guy lasts i honestly just want to see because remember he was teabagging me all right that means he's got something to show let's see what he's showing us i'm interested to see um i don't know does he have a second decisive strike let's see if there's a second decisive here he doesn't where's his ada oh my god so close oh she's teabagging me as well what the Oh my god, why did she go edge map? What the? Okay. And she's dead. Nice. Beautiful. I'm not sure why these guys were teabagging. It's an event, right? They're probably just having a good time. All good. Hey, David. GG's. Okay, let's do this one more time. Let's get all the Devour Moris. And let's end this video with a bang. I've cooked up a little build here. We've got the amulet, which increases the duration of Heidi Ho mode by 50%. We have Furtive Chase Nemesis. Basically, all I can tell you guys is we are going to find some. We are going to hook them immediately, and then we are going to find someone else and sneak up on them using the build I have. It doesn't make any sense now, but I promise you guys, when we start cooking, it'll make sense. Okay, beautiful. She might double vault. No, she might just come this way. And dead. No, he's not going to be exposed for long. Do we get this? We actually do. Oh my god. And then we hook the obsession. And then someone else becomes the obsession. And they also become oblivious for 60 seconds as well. This isn't working out how I wanted it to. That's fine. It doesn't even matter who's the obsession now because they're all exposed. We don't even have the event yet. I am so scuffed. Dead odd. It's okay, he's gonna be dead in a second. Anyways. Look, you. I'm just gonna say this to all of you now. If ever you plan on doing YouTube, okay, that's embarrassing. If ever you plan on doing YouTube, all right, and you're making a YouTube video, maybe read up on what you're doing first before beginning the before beginning the game. So I'm not gonna lie, I cooked up a build here and I had absolutely no clue how it worked. But we're cooking, all right? We're absolutely cooking. And look at that. That's Moria number one. Let's go. They weren't even saving that other guy. Because they thought that was my fifth stack. I already have five stacks, guys. Come on. That's one. Oh, no, no, no. They're on the totem. Wait, it's fine, though. I know where they are. Hold up. I can actually just sneak up on them here. And we can do a bit of this and then we can kill you right next to the totem okay you know what i am actually gonna go back i don't trust these guys this is a communicado team calling it oh never mind i don't think they're on communicado i think they're trying to gen rush that's what i think they're trying to do you die how did i manage to devour mori all of them i didn't even use the event power i didn't even use my build <laughs> everything i was using last game should have been good enough but this game was the one where i pulled it off like it doesn't even make any sense
Oh my god, I see her. Yes. Yes. Let's put you in the chest. You ready? You're going to be inside of the chest. Now, when the next person comes to this map and unboxes the chest, they're just going to find you inside. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.